guys, welcome back to my channel, Lama Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel. Today, I have just a bunch of odds and ends to get done and to do. Aubrey and I already went to the park and met up with my sister and played this morning. And then I was planning on going to a different Dollar Tree to pick up some things for our gender reveal coming up. Um, but this video will be airing afterwards because just the timing of it all. And, um, I went into this Dollar Tree and it was cleared out. I knew that they were planning on moving to a different location soon, but I didn't realize it would be this empty. I thought, I don't know what I thought, but I just, I thought there'd be more stuff. I was lucky enough to get some of the things that I need, but I'll probably just have to live without the stuff that they didn't have because it's getting closer to our gender reveal and, you know, I can just make some sacrifices. There, are, I'm in no way in need of anything. But I think I'm gonna go pick up maybe a Starbucks or something and go to Michael's. But let me show you just the very few things that I was able to snag from this Dollar Tree. So my original idea, this, you know, it was so trashed in there that like I got two of these, but they were out of the bag. Um, I wanted to have like two or three blue tablecloths and then two or three pink ones and make like a streamer background, but they didn't have the blue tablecloths. So I got two of the white, I'm gonna do one pink and then using, I got two of these little pom-pom garlands. And so I figured like these can be hanging down, these can be hanging down. It's, you know, it's not suggestive either way. Um, because you know there's two different colors and two different decorations but I don't know I am making it work and I uh, got some more pink and blue cotton candy because I thought that would be fun um, and oh, I also got one of these the bigger pom-poms that are gonna hang so that you know hopefully this will work out okay and then I like to keep some of these not the trash right here the do some of these trolleys the gummy worms in the car as like a treat if Aubrey behaves while we're out and about. But well, let's go get that Starbucks and go to Michael's and get some like melting chocolates and maybe see if I can pick up some of the stuff that wasn't here, at, only if it's a good deal though. Hi, um, I hope you're doing well. I have a mobile order for Emily. For Emily, yeah, I hope you're doing well too. Thanks. All right, Emily, when it's finished. Okay, we are still working on it, but I will see you soon. Okay, sounds great, thank you. Okay, so, Today is the first day of their fall drinks. And I am not a huge pumpkin spice fan, like fan. It's not that I dislike it. It's just, it's not like, oh, I need to have the pumpkin spice stuff. So I was looking at the menu and I was like, well, you know, I, I have enough stars for a free drink and I wanna get a Frappuccino and we're gonna go ahead and give their other fall flavor a try and I'll let you guys know how it is. It's like an apple crisp drink. They have like an apple crisp macchiato, an apple crisp frappuccino, they're probably apple crisp everything. And they said like in the, at least the frappuccino, it has like a brown sugar apple something or other. God bless you. So we're gonna see if this tastes any good or if I just wasted 150 stars. Um, but I made sure to get a little cake pop because I know I like those. And this is like my last week of having sugary stuff um, by choice. And so, um, you know, just trying to live it up, see what this new flavor is all about and let you guys know if it's any good. So let's go ahead and try this thing. Hi. Yes. Is it your birthday? No, but I wish it was. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, so let's try this thing. Here's what my apple crisp frappuccino looks like. It smells like cinnamon apple on top. That's the topping. So it's not like a caramel sauce. It's, it's an apple spice sauce or something like that. Always got to eat the whipped cream first. It's like an apple pie. What you, what you would expect, I think, with like apple cinnamon. So let's see how this actually tastes with like a coffee frappuccino thing. So it tastes like fall. I don't know how I feel about it yet. 
Like you do get the apple in there, you do get the cinnamon. And there's like a subtle coffee flavor as well. And I don't know how I feel about the combo, but if you like apple cinnamon stuff, it's worth trying. My taste buds are still very confused. <laughs> like I feel like I'm eating like a, a fall candle from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> This might be like a one and done, like glad I tried it, but I'll stick to my favorites and going in the future. I think that's probably what this is. But I mean, it feels like I'm eating a candle for Bath and Body Works for sure. So I'll be working on this drink and trying to think it over and stop confusing my taste buds. But uh, let me drive over to Michael's and let's go get these melting chocolates. Can you put this in the shopping cart, please? I don't have one. Why am so much. Mm-hmm. You need this many, Mommy? No, I don't need this many, but it's the best deal. And I'll eventually use them. So I got what I needed at Michael's. Aubrey was starting to get a little fussy there, so it was a little stressful. And then she was getting a little hungry, so I figured we'd go to a place that I don't normally get to eat at, and we got some like teriyaki chicken, and so um, we just had a nice little lunch. Mmm, they smell so good. Now we're back home. I just got her in bed, but she's still awake and playing. And I have a couple things to do here. First, I want to show you guys the little succulents that I am trying to propagate from one of the videos that I shared with you guys a couple of weeks ago. So if you remember, I uh, ripped these guys off my little plant and stuck them above this cup of water and they're growing little baby plants. I'm so excited. They're so cute. And hopefully I will be able to at least have one of these survive a transplant to a little pot. But this is what they look like when they get a little bit bigger. And here is where I cut off the big stem and it looks like there's some new growth. So this plant really isn't dying. But as you guys can see outside, I mean, that one's still alive. It's a little flimsy, but it hasn't completely died yet. But now that Aubrey is at least gonna lay down for me in her room, at least for like maybe two hours or three hours max, I have a couple things to do. I'm gonna try to piece together the little backdrop thing that I was talking about in Dollar Tree. I'm gonna try to piece that together and get that all ready so that's like one less thing I have to worry about. And then I also have to look over this contract. If you guys watched my like big life updates video a couple weeks ago, uh, I shared that we are getting a new home, a new build, and we got a big long contract to look over. So I am gonna be reading that over and signing it and just getting ready for this next big stage in our life. So I have that to do. And if I still have time, I have one more little Cricut project to do where we will be adding our baby's name to our This Is Us sign above our bed. And I won't be sharing the name in this video because that will give away the gender of our little one. But if you guys want to find out the gender and see the name and the result of this craft, go check out the video linked above. That is our gender reveal. I also have a gender reveal like party prep setup thing that you guys can watch. So there's a lot to that. But let's go get all this done. Okay, so that little like baby gender reveal streamer thing took me forever. <laughs> and I just barely got a chance to glance at the papers. I'm still gonna have to do that. And I'm still gonna have to add the little baby's name to our This Is Us sign. Don't know if it's all gonna get done tonight, but uh, this might become a two day thing. We're about to head to dinner and then maybe I will be productive with at least one more of my main many tasks that I have to do. Aubrey, who did we see at KFC? Mm -hmm. Who did you, you see? see? The, the, the police. 
police officer. You love police officers. Did you show them your toy car? Were they nice? All right, guys. So last night we got home from dinner. Um, we, you know, are excited about this house and we've been talking about it and we stayed up, I stayed up till like 3 a.m. Um, we were signing the contracts and all this other stuff. And um, so it was pretty late. And then this morning I'm waking up a little bit earlier than I normally do because I have a doctor's appointment with my OB today. So I am getting ready for that and hopefully all will go well. I think it's just a short little visit. And I'm actually waiting on like when my gestational diabetes test is going to be. So hopefully that gets like figured out today because I really don't know when it is and it should be soon. But since I didn't get everything I wanted to done yesterday, today is the day because uh, today is Wednesday. The party is on Sunday for our gender reveal. And obviously I don't want to do too many food things too soon. So I want to make sure like I have everything ready that is non-food related. And then I do want to make like chocolate covered pretzels today because those will definitely last. So that's something I can do early and not like super stressed about. I also, looking at my list, <laughs> I still want to add baby's name to our little this is us sign. So that I hopefully will be able to get done today. And then I need to start looking at the home building website for like things that we can add or choices for like cabinets or countertops or things like that, which is exciting. And then I also have to film a different video for you guys, uh, which will be going out on Friday. So this is like a really last minute kind of video for me. I like to try to have them done in advance so that I'm less stressed. But uh, yeah, there's lots of updates. So I got to get that done. So we're going to be productive today. I do think I'm hopeful that I can get everything done. <laughs> and... Um, you know, for all I know, maybe I'll have to film part of the video while I'm making pretzels because that always takes me forever. So we'll see. You guys will have already seen this video, most of you probably, and uh, hopefully it's pleasing. But I got to go to my doctor's appointment. Hear little baby's heartbeat. I'll check in soon. So it is the afternoon now. I went to my doctor's appointment and almost everything is fully fine. I will link my update video up above. It's going to include all of our big life updates. But um, short story is I have partial placenta previa, which may mean I may need to have another C-section. So uh, go to that video to check out more. But we are back home. Aubrey is napping. And I recently took down our This Is Us sign from my bedroom and broke out my Cricut and added baby's name to our little This Is Us sign. And we're going to be using that at our reveal, not to reveal the gender, but just to show everyone the name of baby. But now that that is done and Aubrey is still in bed, I am going to try to dip some of these chocolate pretzels. So I used some melting chocolates from Winco, although you can find some melting chocolates at Michael's as well. I was able to get half of these done. I did white dipping chocolate first, and then I drizzled on some pink melting chocolate and topped it with blue sprinkles. And then that was like pretty much all I could get done in that time period. And later in the evening, I decided to do the other half by dipping them in white melting chocolate, but then drizzling on like in a different design, blue melting chocolate with pink sprinkles. And then I also came across the sign that I used in a previous little baby shower video and we wanted our family to write letters to baby for when he or she turns 18 and that will be a birthday present for him or her. So with Aubrey, we actually did the same idea. We had everyone write a letter to her even though they didn't know whether she was a girl or boy, just little lima bean number one uh, for when she turns 18. And I really love this idea because you know, not everyone, hopefully everyone will still be alive when she turns 18, but, you know, maybe there was someone who passed away when she was 13 and now she gets to like have that special letter from that person who wrote to her when she was, you know, not even born yet. So I want to continue that. Definitely don't want to just have that be like just for our firstborn and then forget about it, the rest of the other kids. So I definitely want to continue that. And that's why I made that little sign. 
and it is super late now and the only other thing that I wanted to get done today and I didn't was filming my video for Friday so luckily I have one more day to film edit and make a thumbnail for that video and then post it so I think I can get that done tomorrow um, but I'm gonna wrap this video up here thank you for joining me on these random two days of trying to be productive and get stuff done I'm tired <laughs> Uh, this whole house hunting stuff and purchasing or like signing the contract for the house was exhausting and I'm just, I know that the next like several months are going to be overwhelming and exciting and just like all the feels all at once. So I'm excited to bring you guys along with me, but yeah, that wraps up this productive two days, get it all done, weird video. I hope you guys liked it. I know it's a little random, but I hope it inspires you to try to get some things off your checklist done. And even if it takes two days, you know, you're productive. So don't forget to like this video, push that little like button if you enjoyed it, or if you just want to help me out and subscribe if you guys are new, I'd love to have you stick around and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.